Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or everything. Everything is a total washout. I have a whole playlist of all of these weekly videos spanning over a year now, so if you just want to binge watch these all the way through, I'll have that playlist up in the cards. Please ignore this face makeup right now. I'm testing out some new foundations or foundation combinations for the summer because my skin gets very, it's already combination, it gets very oily and very sweaty during the summer and so now that it's here and I'm in an attic, I haven't even left the house yet and it's already looking. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have time to fix it before I can film this and then go to work so we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> First up with some updates, I just wanted to talk about the new Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and the powder. I didn't buy this because it almost took them until the release of this new product to get me their old, older new release product. So I'm not buying from the Jeffree Star website anymore, especially on release days because that shipping is just nuts. I might look into this maybe when it comes back in stock on Beautylish because from what I've seen and heard infinitely better than the Jeffree Star website, but I'm not in any rush. I've seen only one review so far, and that was from Teresa is Dead, and she said she actually really liked the products, but uh, I'm not in a rush. Another update, I was finally able to get my hands on this Physician Formulas Butter Box. They finally released it online. I think for a while it was just exclusive to in-store at Walmart, and then they released it out. So I picked it up on their website, $14.95. I can't wait to try this out, especially the perfume. I'm running low on perfume. I'm actually going through all my perfume samples right now, which is pretty cool. I should have done that before, but I'm excited to try out something new. I don't know if it's just because I feel like I haven't been paying attention or if this has just been kind of like a slow week in makeup. I don't know. One thing that I actually saw that gripped me immediately were these new blushes, luminous blushes from Dior. I have one of the luminous highlights and I do love it. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. So I do love that highlight. It was a bit overpriced, yes. And these blushes, that uh, salmon-y, peachy one is just like calling me. But I'm panning a blush. I'm nowhere near hitting pan on that blush. I don't need any more blushes. I need to declutter my blushes. I don't need this, but it's beautiful. Something I was also kind of sort of tempted by were these new liners from ColourPop. So they have a whole line of, I guess, new color matched packaging for their BFF line. They've got the cream gel liners and all well, the cream gel liners in the pot and then the cream gel liners in like the, pa the pencil. I see these and I think, oh, that's so cool. I could do so many things with them. But then I look and I have some gel liners and I don't really use them. So I definitely don't need these no matter how affordable they are. The, I guess the ones in the pot are $6.50 each or $89 for the whole set. I don't think anyone needs that. And then the pencils are $5.50 each and the $99 for the whole set. Hmm. Glam Light is back again with some different lashes and some different packaging. Eh. Eh. It looks like Sugar Pill is now coming out with lip glosses, but they're limited edition. No, okay, so the packaging's limited edition. I guess they'll continue to have the glosses after the packaging. I still haven't tried out their lipsticks. I've been recommending, or I've been recommended their lipsticks for quite some time, and I've never picked them up. So I definitely try out their lipsticks before I try out their lip gloss, but they're on my radar. So Huda Beauty is coming out with this new body luminizer called Not Your Mama's Pantyhose. So was anyone wearing this to work? I think I said this in my last video, I don't really see the purpose of a body luminizer outside of like an Instagram photo. Yeah, I'm not gonna be picking this up. Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with new brow products. They're called Kybrow, I guess. I guess it's supposed to be like highbrow, whatever. The only thing I'd be interested in is the brow gel. I'd, I've been looking for a good, affordable brow gel. This is not going to be that affordable compared to my holy grail, which is the ABH clear brow gel. But I, I'm, I'm honestly very curious. 
I missed they did a deal last weekend where it was free shipping. I missed that. I should have done that because I really want one of the high or one of the concealers. But I'll hold off, wait for another opportunity, and probably just pick up a whole bunch of things at once. ColourPop is coming out with round two of their collab with Makeup Shayla. And the palette, while the packaging looks really nice, this is basically just the Yes Please palette. I'm sure the packaging is going to be a lot nicer. I don't personally feel the need to pick this up though because it, it does look so similar to yes please moving over to indie makeup spotlight i really wanted to just show this bundle from sydney grace it's launching april 24th so today it's 33 dollars. it's six mattes and three pressed pigments and look at the greens sydney grace is on my list of indie brands i really want to try in 2019 and i think this bundle is going to be what i get all right, guys, and I'm going to cut it off there. A little bit shorter than normal for this week, but I didn't see too many new exciting things to talk about, and I got to run and deal with work today. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you liked this, you'll give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below, as always, whatever you're interested in or what you think of this week's products. Thank you guys again for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.